Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Lead aprons are a critical accessory for radiology departments. They provide protection both to x-ray personnel and to patients. Aprons are necessary for patients to wear or drape over them when protection is needed over the body areas not involved in the examination. As an example, if a patient is getting an extremity x-ray or a skull x-ray, they may wear an apron around their thorax and abdomen without obstructing the exam. Consequently, patients may stand in front of a draped apron or they may wear an apron designed to wear around their waist when obtaining a chest x-ray. In any event, it is always good practice for x-ray operators to engage in actively protecting patients with lead garments or protective aprons of some sort. The aprons not only protect the patient from undesired scattered x-rays, but they elicit confidence of those receiving treatments by reinforcing to them that they are a priority and the healthcare worker is concerned about their safety. The most common aprons by far are lead aprons. They are comprised of customized sheets of lead that are encased in a durable protective garment. These lead aprons may have shoulder and waist straps to secure them onto the person. They are fitted like a cooking apron with the body of the garment in the front while the straps are secured from behind. There are a variety of other aprons that include a Velcro wraparound or a garment that adheres to the waist by a strap or loop. The aprons may not always be constructed from lead. Newer, lighter aprons are comprised of other metals such as aluminum, or they may be a hybrid of lead and other substances. Over time, these aprons wear thin and crack. They may get folded, bundled, or even scrunched up in a corner. They may be mishandled or abused. This type of treatment causes the integrity of the apron to be compromised, disallowing subjects to benefit from the full potential of these coveralls. Aside from proactively avoiding bending, folding, or bunching the garments, x-ray personnel should implement protocols to evaluate and determine the viability of the apron. Simple tests can help staff to determine which aprons should be replaced or repaired. Inspection protocols should be performed on a monthly, biannually, quarterly, or at the very least annual basis. Different states recommend different time frames for this and managers should rely on the Department of Health and Human Services or Radiation Protection Unit for the state to determine mandated or recommended procedures. When inspecting aprons, there are three tiers of evaluation. Virtual, tactile, and x-ray. The visual evaluation involves scanning the surface of the apron in every corner and on every surface to evaluate for fraying, cracks, tears, and the like. The tactile inspection is a little more hands-on where the employee should run their hand across the primary surfaces of the garment, checking for bulges, irregularities, and bunchings of the lead. Last, the x-ray inspection will identify cracks in the lead when applied correctly to the apron. The visual and tactile inspection can take place either on a flat surface, such as an x-ray table, or with the apron draped or hanging from a customized rack. This will allow the inspector to seamlessly review the garment for discrepancies using both their eyes and their hands. The specialist should also pay attention to the buckles, straps, Velcro adhesives, and other securing devices. It is helpful to keep a running record of observations from the inspection. X-ray departments should develop worksheets to keep on file so that staff understands apron conditions and developments. One of our specialties at the Radiology Coach is providing hard to find information and documentation that assists x-ray managers with matters like these. We offer a template apron inspection form that you can easily download and print for easy use. Simply click the link below to access your comprehensive inspection worksheet. You can also visit our website at www.theradiologycoach.com to find more information. This will be an easy resource that your staff can use time and time again. That concludes this episode of How to Inspect Lead Aprons. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner.
and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.